Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. A few days ago, Microsoft released a trial version of Windows 10 for the Raspberry Pi 2. And so, in this video, of course, I'm going to try it out. OK, if you want to install a Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi before Windows 10 formally launches, you'll have to join the Windows Insider program, as I showed you in my, my last video. You'll then need to have Windows 10's preview version running on a PC somewhere, because really you can't use Windows 10 on the Pi without having it running on another uh, machine. And then you'll go to this page for the Internet of Things on the Microsoft site, and you'll scroll down, and you'll see already there's quite a lot here. And there's a section here on setting up your device, and if you go there, you will discover uh, the Raspberry Pi is there, look, yes, the Raspberry Pi on the Windows page. And if we just click Start now, these are rather good instructions, and they take you to the uh, uh, place you can actually download the file, which is, I think is over there. So if we just select that, still getting used to Windows 10's new look here, uh, we need to download that file. That will, of course, take a little time. It's uh, just under half a gigabyte. And when that file is downloaded, what I will do is I will go back to the uh, page here, uh, which as you can see gives us very straightforward um, instructions for taking the file we've downloaded and writing it to an SD card. So what I will do, I will wait to the for the file to download, follow those basic Windows instructions, and I'll end up with an SD card, a micro SD card, ready to insert into our Raspberry Pi 2. So I'll see you again when that is completed. Right, we're now booting up uh, our Raspberry Pi from our Windows uh, SD card. Slight problem with animation there, as you can see. But basically, things seem to be working. Uh, we've now got to a black screen. OK, that's not quite as exciting, but things are going on, I'm sure. Oh, we've got a, an exciting coloured block, a bit like a little Tetris game there, isn't it? A different, different block, but something's happening. Haven't seen that sort of thing on the Pi before. Oh, and here we are. We've actually got Windows 10 Internet of Things preview running on a Raspberry Pi 2. If you were expecting to see some sort of a Windows desktop, then I'm afraid you're going to be sadly disappointed, because you see, it isn't. We've got a working mouse here, uh, but basically, this is what you get. Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 2 is an Internet of Things operating environment. It's an environment where you actually connect things to your Pi, sensors, motors, things like that, and then the Pi communicates back to other Windows devices over a network to supply Internet of Things type services. So there isn't a lot we can do here. This tells us the device name is currently um, MinWinPC. It shows us the uh, um, IP address. We've got down here a um, little menu. What does that get us to? Anything at all? Oh, it does look like it. Oh, yes, we can change the, um, the language and the time zone. And there's information on the um, network. Right now, this version of uh, Windows IoT um, doesn't actually support Wi-Fi, but it will do, of course, eventually, because that's kind of important. But other than that, this is what Windows 10 will look like running on the Raspberry Pi. Right, there's a final little test here. I've come back into the uh, Windows 10 preview, and I've gone through the instructions which they give you on the uh, Windows Internet of Things site to connect to this machine using a Windows PowerShell in its administrative mode. I've got the font size a bit bigger so you can see this. And so you can see I'm actually connected here to a uh, MinWin PC, which is our Raspberry Pi uh, 2 elsewhere on the network. If I type something like, say, get, Process, if I could spell it, it would help, wouldn't it? Process generally with a P. Um, I do that, it'll show us what is running on our um, mini PC, which is obviously quite a lot of things. Let's try and do something where we can actually prove something's happened. I'm going to do set computer and um, name, obviously. And I'm going to actually change the name of that computer from MinWin PC to say. Um, um, Rasp Pi 
too would seem a bit more sensible name, wouldn't it? And uh, it's done that. And we've now got to actually make sure the machine can, can re reboot. So I'm going to reboot the machine by uh, doing, as it tells me how helpfully there, shut uh, down. Why can't I type at the moment? I'm doing four things together, that's why. Um, RT0, and that will um, do that. System will shut down. And if we now flip back to the um, Raspberry Pi, we will hopefully find that it will um, come up again and it will have a different name. So we've got a black screen here as the Raspberry Pi is rebooting. Not very exciting, but it, it heightens the sense of anticipation, doesn't it? What is going to happen? Have we actually managed to rename our Raspberry Pi running its version of Windows 10? Or we're back to the Tetris symbol. So we're getting there, aren't we? It's, um, excitement is mounting. Hope you're sitting down or you probably won't be able to take the pressure. You probably are sitting down if you're watching this. And yes, there we are, look, we've come back and now the device name um, is Raspi2 rather than MinWinPC. So we have proved the principle. We can install Windows 10 IoT on a Raspberry Pi 2. We can connect to it across a network and we can control it by a standard PC running Windows 10. If you want to use your Raspberry Pi 2 as part of an Internet of Things network, then Windows 10 is a really significant development. In future videos, I'll be hooking things up to the GPIO pins on the Pi 2 and controlling them remotely with Windows 10. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.